Deep Dive Gaming. Hello, people, and welcome back to Deep Dive Gaming. I am the Mariner, and this is Sim Settlements 2 for Science. We are continuing our experiment with organic settlement growth and blending Fallout 4 main quest line with Sim Settlements 2 main quest line. Last time we got 10 pines and sanctuary upgraded as much as we could. This week I'm going to start in Abernathy upgrading as much as I can before checking in on Starlight. But before I do any of that, as promised, I'm going to show off as much as I could upgrade here in Sanctuary. It's level 2, level 3, level 3. So water and power are full. Over here we have industry, the junk piles are full. We have organics plot level 3, building materials level 3. And over here we got building materials at 2. That looks like it might be upgradable, but I'm out of wood. And we got another junk pile. And then all of our homes have been upgraded as much as we can. Most of them are at level 2 now. Let me show you these really quick. Yep, that's level 2. 2, yep, okay. Like I said, I got as far as I could with the amount of wood and the availability of upgrading for plots. This is 2. There's a two, and then we've got, I'm not really doing worrying about this one because it'll go away as soon as Preston leaves. And then over here we've got a level three commerce, level two luck, and then we've got a level two caravan plot over here, and then we've got a level three agility plot, and a level two security here and way in the distance a little to security there okay so that's all covered let's head on over to Abernathy alrighty here we are in Abernathy I'm I gave it a couple of minutes for the script to catch up so I think looking around we're probably okay this electricity report is probably bogus if I could find the thing, there we go. So we got maybe a happiness problem over here. I'm not entirely sure. But the first thing I want to do is check our needs report. If we don't have enough extra, then building some of these upgrades may be foolish. 37, produced 85, needed 30. So we got room there. Produced 65, needed 48. That seems a little tighter, but we'll see if we can get around it. Power. 128, needed 55. I think we're okay there. And then defense. I'm probably going to be fine with this one. Oh, yeah. And then we'll do happiness really quick. 71, trending towards 80. No penalties, but no bonuses either. Okay. I think we're free and clear. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is sleep to generate resources and then we will get going. And we've got some people here. I will talk to them in a little while. Okay, there we go. Our resources are generated and I'm going to start with defense. So this is a level three. We're going to temporarily lose defense while we change this out but we're going to change this out to be a rebel bunker. Excellent. Alrighty, there we go. And I've always felt, because the trader's welcome sign is facing in, that this whole building was put up backwards. It looks good in here but it's backwards. So we'll go ahead and upgrade this one. All Ernie should be trained. So we'll find out. Choose building plan. Rubble bunker. I'll talk about the others that you see that in that list in a few minutes. And since we've seen what this one looks like, I'll make sure it starts and then we'll go do the other one and back. And I just realized that the one by one Marshall plots don't have an advanced defense plan available 
in the Sim Settlements 2 core mod. So we could use the Wasteland Ventures or Pro plots that I have available now. I'll explain here in a minute, but let's not. I want to use the CPD plot for this one here. Let's go ahead and look at our housing situation. We've got, I think we'll start on this side. So what I'm going to do, even though a lot of people like to see the steps I take, I'm going to skip ahead to when this is done because you know the process at this point and I want to get as much into this video as I can. All right, so we got our final house building. So I want to do farms next and I'm going to check on the skill levels of everyone associated with this particular farm just to make sure I can do advanced. And let's see, there's Connie. She's a 10, perfect. There's Lucy. She's an eight, she's good enough. There he is, talking to Julia. Almost called her Jules. He's also at eight, perfect, okay. So you may have noticed when I had the security plot selection going that you saw Pra and you saw Wasteland Ventures plots. Well, here's a new issue. I did not confirm I could do 3x3 advanced farms before I started this playthrough. Turns out they aren't a thing without add-on mods. It was never a hard rule that we weren't using add-on mods since we have the Msalaba Bare Essentials mod for residential plots. There's no foul then in installing the Wasteland Ventures and Pra's random add-ons which I've now done, as you can see. We'll just ignore most of what those give us for now. And no, we're not going to build the Powell's house. So let's come into here, choose building plan. And then we're just gonna do Universal Library Advanced Farm. Not entirely sure why there's an explosion there for a farm, but still a good effect. And we also got some unassigned people that we need to reassign. So we will check and see if Connie is assigned since she's right here. She is not, so we can grab her and assign her. Come on, there we go. We can check Lucy. Says she's still a farmer. Scan really quick since the info box is not coming up. Yep. That means Alex needs to be reassigned, which is easy to do. We have everybody assigned to this now, and it should be nearly done. So let's check on the status of the workers we have on this one. And they all are in attendance. Nice. Okay, so Hollis... Ugh, Hollis is not training. She should be training. I think we've got a spot available. Let's hit the endurance plot over here. And we'll see if that renders us an upgrade. If so, we'll go ahead and do it. It may not because now it's saying we have a water problem. So we'll give the system a minute to catch up. Meanwhile, I want to go assign Ellie Sattler because I think she's the other person on this. There she is. Come on. There we go. And she's at a five. And who is this person? Or where is she at? She's also at a four. Okay, so we want to assign Ellie as well. Looks like the water problem may have settled itself. So we'll see if we get an upgrade when I do this assignment. And I'm going to make Ellie the owner. Yep, there it goes. And hey, we have cork. We have so much cork. Finally. All right, so I'm going to check with Lucy. She's probably been unassigned. 
that hobby nun. So I'm going to go ahead, move her over to the strength plot since there's no one here right now. We'll see if there's an upgrade for that as well. Doesn't look to be popping yet, so I'm going to grab another person and put them on this. We'll probably put one of the industrial guys on here. And yeah, we don't have enough wood to upgrade Madden Spring yet. Okay, so who is on industry? I think it might be one of these people. They'll probably flash us with the upgrade option again, which we can't do because of a lack of wood. But we are going to sleep and do that. Okay, so we've got our resources, but we've also got a couple of newcomers. Uh, we talked to Lacey Buckles last time. We have her quest for Buckle Up Buttercup. But we haven't spoken to Raven yet, I don't think. So I'm going to talk to her really quick. Hi. Raven. Raven Corvus. I need you to help me retrieve my drunk of a brother. What? My idiot brother got himself kidnapped by raiders. Send my idiot brother to me when you find him. He'll pay you. Or at least he better. Either way, do this for me and I'll work for you. Well, send her to Abernathy temporarily. I actually think I want to send her to another location. All right, and we have Clough here. Hey there. Hey there, Whisper. I know your Geiger counter's in the shop, but think you could help me? Mind if I tell you a story then? It's about the man who raised me, and why I've spent the last few years looking around for him. You see, for the first five years of my life, I didn't know my papa. He'd been a traveling musician, rolled into town one day with a song, and left mama with me. I never thought we'd see him again. But then, one day, in he comes, straight out of nowhere. He was a changed man. Married my mama on the spot and took care of me and her like we were the two most important things in the world. When Mama passed, he went back on the road. He took me with him. It wasn't long before I started to notice things and realized we weren't just wandering. We was running, even if I didn't know who from. Now, Papa had him a portable computer. One day, I managed to get into it while he wasn't around and I read his diary. Turns out, wasn't my father at all. He was the synth who replaced him. My papa may have been a synth, but he was still the best papa I could ever have asked for. But it wasn't long after the Institute caught up with us. He made me hide while he lost him. Said he'd be back for me, but he never did. Eventually, I had to fend for myself, but I still hoped I'd find him. I've been with the railroad a long time, but never had any leads. The only ones who'd know if the Institute got my papa or not is the Institute. I found out about a place where they keep a backup of their archives. Even got something to pull the files I need. Just need someone who can break in. I can't officially ask you, but I'd be mighty grateful if you did this for me. Papa was Rolling Stone. Okay, let's do a quick scan on him. Okay, he's got an 8 charisma, so he, like Lacey Buckles here, will be good for Starlight Drive. But we need to build up there a little bit before we can send anyone over. Let's finish upgrading Abernathy. Let's check Chelsea really quick. Yeah, I think she's a, yeah, she's a scabber, but she needs training. So I'm going to see if I can put her on the strength plot. No, strength plot's full. We need to upgrade it first. So we should be able to do that now. Yep, there we go. And that should open up a third slot. I'll wait for it to happen though before I go grab Chelsea. I'm not sure why the endurance plot didn't open the third slot on level three. Alrighty, there. We got Chelsea assigned. Let's go ahead and build, upgrade these guys and get people assigned to them. Okay, so this is now upgrading to level 3. This is at level 3. What I did was I moved Ernie from the agility training, since he was nearly done, over to perception, which triggered the upgrade. So now I'm going to see... Whoops. 
So now I'm going to see who else is bored and fill this out. So I gathered everybody up close and they all talked at once and then started wandering off. So I'm going to use the Vitamatic tracking to track hobbyless people. And then it's occurring to me because Raven's here, Raven here is looking at me that I should probably assign her to one of these houses temporarily because that way she's not dinging me on homeless. Okay, so now we've got an issue that I was afraid might happen. We're looking at a lack of water and therefore zero food. So let me check my needs report really quick. Two food. How's our water situation? We need 99 now, wow. Okay, power, how are we on the power? We're still good there. Okay, so hopefully soon we get the advanced water and advanced power plots going. In the meantime, to avoid problems, I can lay down a um, one of these, but bigger. So we'll go ahead and plop that over by the water plot, just because it would make sense. With Place Anywhere, we could honestly put one of these down. And I'm just going to do that to make it less stressful on myself. We'll hook this up here. This is not a hack that I usually approve of, but I want to get as much into this video as possible if I spend a lot of time thinking about or working out how to power three of those ten units I'll be here for a while so I'm just gonna skip ahead we'll probably tear this down when we're done or when we've got the ability to have a advanced pat water plot but for now we're gonna move on to upgrading these and not entirely sure if our happiness is at the point where we can upgrade these so I'm gonna check no okay so that's not something that we can play with anymore we have to wait until the happiness is fixed for this place hopefully with the board people now assigned we've got that taken care of but it'll take a few minutes or a few days to deal with it so i'm gonna go ahead and move us on to starlight okay here we are in starlight drive-in and i'm immediately seeing two problems one we don't have enough defense and two, we are lacking in happiness. One of those two things I can deal with, the other will have to wait. Also, my status meters and resource numbers are not appearing in the HUD for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, it could just be a serious script lag. So we'll have to wait and see. But Jason Martin is here, so I'm gonna to talk to him before I do anything else. Hey there. Hey, you're the one in charge here, right? I've been looking for you. Name's Jason Martin. I used to be a caravan guard running the Wasteland Circuit. Heard from some friends that you had work available. I'll do any job you like, and keep an eye on things while I'm at it. What do you say? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and hire him for Starlight Drive-In. Because, when we scan him, we see he's got a decent agility. Which means he's perfect for defense. So I'm gonna grab him. We have a defense plot available over here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to a rubble bunker so that uh, we can maybe work on our defense. And our meter fixed itself and the numbers have finally arrived, so that's good. But let's go ahead and do advanced plots where possible, right off the bat, when possible. Okay, while that's building, let's administer some cures here. And then we will talk to Joe. Actually, no, we won't talk to Joe. He's already hired, but he's actually better used as a commerce dude. So I'm going to come over here. So we've got one commercial plot already built. I'm going to build the second one next to it. And we're going to make it into a clinic. Because I think he needs to learn to serve. The best leaders serve. Let's grab our unemployed pay and build, obviously. 
That's not what we wanted. Oh, and we've also got this guy. So, he's standing around, not doing nothing. We will put him on the city planner's desk. Because we need someone on the city planner's desk. And it'll prompt, probably prompt us for a city plan, which we need to say no to. There's Joe. We will put him on this. If I have to. Yes, you have to. Alright, so that's going to get built here probably momentarily. There we go. Okay, so I think Joe has a house, but... Jason does not. Now, I thought I had... No, I don't have a spare house. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to build a house. And what we'll do is we'll build another raised shack. So that it's above this terrain here. Okay, and then we just need to assign Jason to it. We definitely have to have recreation plots. Because it looks like our happiness is on the rise, but it's going to take a little while. So we're going to need to help it. So I'm going to focus on actual happiness plots for right now. We're going to go, we're going to put one here. As close to the building as we can. Okay, that's one. We'll put another one here. And then we're just going to grab our city leader. Assign him to one. Central Park. That's perfect. Okay. Then we'll grab Jason and we'll assign him to the other one. Okay. So just a really quick review. We did a defense plot. We did a clinic. And we've done a couple of recreational. Happiness is a problem. We won't be able to do any upgrading until that's fixed. I probably messed up here not setting up rep recreation or training plots previously, but we can recover from it with time. Getting more people or building more stuff won't help with that, so we'll wait. And since we're waiting, we'll go ahead and talk to Jake in Concord. And here we are in Concord, and what I'm going to do is carry us through the conversation with Jake skipping the interruptions that you get during this conversation. They ain't very nice. They're called gunners. So if you see any, make sure you stay far away from them, all right? Ooh, working on something important. Oh, hey, darling. Uh, I didn't hear you come in. I was just recording a message for someone. What are you hiding? Oh, this is awkward. I was sort of hoping to keep this private. So, as I'm sure you already figured out, I'm not exactly local to these parts. I come from a settlement called Sanford. Life there was hard, but it was home. Anyway, that's where I grew up and became a young man. And where I met this young woman. One thing led to another and... Do you have a daughter? Yeah, that's right. I had a little girl. I named her Laura. And from the moment she was born, that kid became my world. So, years pass. And Laura grows up. However, me and her mom, Caitlin, we ended up drifting apart and separating. But I'd still see Laura all the time, though. And when she'd stay with her mom, we'd keep in touch through radio. So, one day, I broadcasted our usual radio time to say goodnight. But there's no response. Naturally, I begin to panic a little, worrying if something bad might have happened to her. I arrive at Caitlin's house, gun in hand and ready for the worst. I opened the door, and there was no one there. At first, I thought someone must have broken into the place, abducted Caitlin and my kid. But more I looked around, the more I realized everything was tidy. No signs of struggle. And then I noticed all their belongings were missing. I ran to Laura's room. All her toys, books, even her ham radio was gone. They hadn't been kidnapped. They just packed up and left, but there were no clues to where they'd gone. Well, there's no way in hell I was going to let Caitlin just disappear with my daughter. After asking around, I found out they booked passage on a caravan. They'd set off that very morning. 
I dashed back home, gathered a few essentials, and set off in pursuit. Anyway, I tracked that damn caravan halfway across the wasteland. By the time I caught up with it, it had made its final stop. Here, in the Commonwealth. Caitlin and Laura had already departed, but I knew where they were now. Since then, I've put out a radio message every night, hoping Laura might hear it. Know that her dad is out here looking for her. After our little run-in with the gunners, I needed to warn her to stay away from him. I know she probably won't hear it, but... But still, I had to try. Oh, what is it now? Feral dwarves? Irradiated death claws? What? What's all this about death claws? Oh, old Paul! <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. You must be the ones with the ASM sensors, eh? Uh, me and my partner here, yeah. And they're called ASAMs. Is it true what the old geezer said? Can ASAMs really help build up settlements? Well, sure. As long as what your settlement needs are some homes or farms or a scrap heap. Well, that settles it. We'll take 100 ASAMs, please. Ah, uh, how many caps does that come to? Whoa, whoa, slow down. We're not just peddling some product here. Besides, I'm not even sure we should be handing these things out anymore. Hmm. What makes you say that? Hey, don't tell me you've already forgotten. That aiding guy may have been a Brahmin's ass, but he did have a point. It's a fair bet that settlement got attacked because they used ASAMs. Who's to say the same thing wouldn't happen again? I'm just not sure it's right to give out sensors to random settlements no more. Not if it puts them in danger. If you're concerned about giving sensors out to strangers, why not have them join us instead? I've got no problem defending those we bring into the fold. Hey, we'd be happy to join with you. Right now we're kind of living rough, so whatever it takes to get some assums, eh? I'll get you up and running. Really? You'd have us? Oh, geez, thanks. I still think we may be asking for trouble, but I think you're right. We can't be scared to help folks. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you really don't know what this means to us. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Welcome to the family. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Hubert. I'll run ahead and tell the others. Meet you there, eh? I'll tag along with the youngin. I'll get his people up to speed before you arrive. Let's get these folks up and running. And if the gunners do show up again, well, we'll just have to put them in their place, won't we? Alright, as old Paul and Hubert run off into the distance, we complete memory lane. And begin who can ASAM. And that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. We'll follow Hubert and old Paul to Stodging Crew then send them on to Sunshine and start building over there next episode. We'll also grab Raven and send her over there. Until then, check out my Twitch channel Monday through Wednesday, 7.30 Eastern Time for more of this, Sim Settlements 2. We finished up Valheim this week, so next week will be a new game. Not sure what yet, so subscribe, and when I figure it out, I will announce it here on YouTube. Also, subscribe to see other announcements and notifications on new videos. Also, check out my Let's Play tutorial series here on YouTube. Links to both of those are down below. For now, enjoy the science. Bye-bye.